thought I'd make a video on a common problem that I see people fall into a lot. Basic comes uh, when you're doing quad draw and trying to reform something like cloth or some clothing. Um, demonstration of the issue is like when you've got something attached and you're trying to draw topology on it with a guide, for example. When you come to the quad draw, um, you might find that at certain points you won't be able to actually draw a vertice on here. Um, you can sort of go around it by putting additional vertices and then bridging, but that's kind of like a band aid to a larger problem. Um, so basically the, the problem arises in the sense that this cloth, cloth actually has some thickness. So what's happening is one side's uh, basically intersecting with the other and you're seeing the back face of the alternate side. Um, usually starts to come into play when you're sculpting something with thickness. So for example, if you had um, a standard brush and you were doing, doing loads of edits, with each edit, the uh, cloth is actually getting thinner and thinner. So the same is true as when you start to smooth it. So if you are smoothing uh, and being quite indulgent with the smooth, you can actually see how the effect is thinning the cloth itself. Um, a perfect solution for that is always maintain that sort of cloth thickness, um, maybe using inflate in deformation. So if we go down to deformation and under inflate, there's a little slider. That's just basically going to inflate your entire mesh and make it a little bit thicker so it's nice to to re -topologize. Um if you've already gone down that route and there's uh, no point of return there is a small fix that you can do uh, it's a bit of a hacky thing but it should work out fine um, so coming into Maya and then going to select face you want to uh, pretty much edit the guide and it involves deleting the back faces if you go into face mode and then zoom into the darker areas um, it's a little bit finickety, but you should be able to select certain parts of that dark patch, which are causing the problem. Um, you pretty much do that across the mesh. At the same time, what you do is uh, if you press shift and then full stop or the, the less than button, it's going to expand that selection. The aim here is to basically just remove parts of that mesh. Um, so we're editing the guide mesh and removing the back face. It's going to make a kind of like an ugly selection down here, but that's not the focus. We want to basically draw topology on the top side. Um, so it's basically guide repair. So selecting all the parts that are dark and then expanding that selection so it doesn't accidentally flood into to the bit that we're interested in. Um, hopefully after that, once you reapply apply it as a live mesh, the quad draw is going to work perfectly and you can draw back, back over on top of it. Um, usually what I suggest when it comes to uh, making certain clothing, um, people will use extract. So that's when you start to mask a certain part of an asset and then come down into um, the extraction section, clicking extract and then accepting. If we look at that mesh, uh, it already gives us quite a thick, uh, thin mesh. So just be a bit, um, be a bit rewarding when it comes to putting a bit more thickness on there. Um, then you won't have problems late down the line. If you're making a glove, for example, um, you wouldn't want to use the extract on something like a glove. You'd want to cap that off and have it as like a continuous watertight mesh. Um, so not the perfect fix, but definitely uh, a way to progress once you've found those sort of errors. But definitely try and focus on keeping your high poly mesh as thick as possible.